Hello and welcome back everyone. So if you don't want to watch the whole video and you want to just get straight to the, the solution, this is the final node setup for this video. Feel free to pause it now. And it's going to end up looking like that. Okay, your chance is gone, I'm deleting this. So we're starting off with just a single black empty material. And we're going to add the Fresnel node. So that gave us this ring, and you can see it kind of kind of reacts to the light in different ways as we scroll around. If you want to know more about the math behind the Fresnel node, I'll link two articles in the description below. It's definitely an interesting thing to read up on. So we want to control this. Um, the rim is very shallow. It's not really bleeding into the model as much as we would like it to. So I'm going to hit 1 and left click over here, make a property called Shield Rim Power. And we're going to clamp that between 0 and 10 and feed that into the power. Now if we, if we grab that, uh, You can see as I bring it up, we're actually losing power in the shield, so it's inverted. As we go down towards zero, the rim gains power. So we need to invert that. And for that, we're going to use a remap. And we're going from zero to 10 to 10 to zero. And I'm going to set that to about 8.5. Now why don't we add some color to this. So for that I'm going to hit 5 and left click. And now to mix the color with the Fresnel effect we could use a lerp node. Um, for this instance though we want it to pop a little bit more so I'm going to use a multiply. And why don't we add that to both the albedo and the emission. And then for the color I'm going to choose something like that, maybe like right there. All right, so that, that, that looks pretty interesting. And uh, now we want to add this to the opacity. And again, for the opacity to work, this needs to be set to transparent. Well, I mean, a few of these other options would work. You could do, I think you could do transparent cutout, or um, maybe just those two. I'm, I'm not 100% sure which ones allow transparency, um, but mine is set to transparent. And now you can see the parts that were black before are now transparent, and the parts that were white before are now fully opaque. And, uh, Maybe maybe we want to control how solid the rim looks. For that, we can plug that in here. So I'm going to add another multiply, as well as a float node. And so if we set it to 1, it's not going to change, because multiplying by 1 doesn't do anything. But we could do 0.5 if we want it to be less visible, or like... 2.5 if we want it to be really visible. And uh, I'm going to set mine to 0.9, I think. Like so. Alright, that's it. So that is the Fresnel effect in a nutshell for a shield. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow.